performance and hybrid are concepts which could be considered mutually exclusive in motoring terms. Hybrid conjures up eco-friendly images of low emissions and enhanced efficiency, while performance is all about going fast and burning rubber, at least in my old school terms. And then along comes the BMW 740e. At face value, this is just another BMW 7 Series, a large and even imposing luxury sedan that's at the upper echelon of luxury sedan motoring. As such, its primary task is to cosset its occupants in uncompromising comfort while effortlessly transporting them from departure point to destination. This particular 7 is no different. It's still a large sedan, unmistakably BMW, with a certain unflappable presence and an aura of upmarket sophistication. And yes, there is the promise of effortless performance too. What does set this 7 Series apart from normal versions is the E-Drive badge. It confirms that this is a hybrid car which combines turbo petrol power with an electric motor and a battery pack. BMW is no stranger to hybrids and electric cars. Its BMW i division, which builds the i3 and the i8, is all about developing efficiency-focused technologies. But while the i3 and i8 look futuristic, the 740e looks, well, just like any other 7 Series. However, it does embrace an extensive list of cutting-edge technologies, all aimed at ensuring that the Big 7 remains a luxury machine that's as environmentally green as it is dynamically mean. Indeed, the word opulent springs to mind. Not surprisingly, the interior of the 7 Series is plush and luxurious. And as you can see, there's a lot of focus on the rear passengers with these extra screens and dedicated controls. Of course, this is a bit of an electronic marvel with a lot of technology. And because it's a hybrid, a lot of the displays are also particularly focused on the drivetrain. BMW's iDrive controller is standard, but equipped with hybrid-specific functions and displays, as well as gesture control. The 7 also offers an extensive list of driver assistance systems. But all that tech is offset by the reassuring presence of traditional materials, such as real wood veneer and high-gloss lacquer, brushed alloy accents and hand-stitched leather. There's stretch-out space front and rear too, but at 460 litres the boot is smaller than expected, because the rear is also home to the hybrid system's battery pack. That system combines a 2.0-litre four-cylinder turbo petrol engine with a synchronous electric motor. The two can operate independently or in tandem, while drive is to the rear wheels. The turbo petrol engine contributes 190 kilowatt and 400 newton meters, while the electric motor, which is integrated into the automatic transmission, produces 83 kilowatt and 250 newton meters. System power output combined between those two is 240 kilowatt and 500 newton meters, which is why this car produces some pretty startling dynamics. The combination of turbo petrol and electric power sources opens up several different options. Thanks to its high capacity battery pack, the 740E can travel in pure electric mode for up to 44 kilometers. However, the electric motor can also be used to boost overall performance. By adding its muscle to the turbo petrol engine's output, the big BMW's straight line urge is significantly enhanced in both outright acceleration and tractability terms. Thus, despite its 1.9-ton curb mass, the 740E will sprint from 0 to 100 in just 5.4 seconds, top speed pegged at 250 km an hour. Of course, the electric motor also improves drivetrain efficiency, which means a fuel consumption figure of just 2.2 litres per 100 km, together with CO2 emissions of 50 grams per kilometer. In real terms, that's very, very unlikely. We're seeing an average here at the moment of 7.9 litres per 100 km for the duration of our test. Switching between the hybrid system's modes is as simple as toggling the E-Drive button. There's Auto E-Drive, which determines the most efficient combination of petrol engine and electric propulsion with all electric power at speeds below 80 km an hour. Alternatively, Max E-Drive switches the car to pure electric mode. The lithium-ion battery has a 9.2 kilowatt-hour capacity and is located under the rear seat. 
On the move, it's charged under braking or by the engine. When the car is parked, the battery can also be charged using a conventional AC plug or a dedicated high capacity charger. Charge time is under four hours. On paper, the 740E offers enhanced efficiencies plus limited range, all electric, zero emissions driving. But in practice, the real appeal of this car is probably more based on the extra sparkle delivered by that electric motor, together with the fact that fuel consumption should be better than its normal petrol engine siblings. Either way, the Big Beamer is very much at the cutting edge of premium motoring, with systems that point to a cleaner and greener motoring future. The BMW 740e offers all the comfort and features of the normal versions, but adds futuristic hybrid tech to improve efficiencies and dynamics while reducing consumption and emissions. The result is a luxury limousine that's greener than most, but still lives up to BMW's dynamic and luxury promises. The boot is on the small side though, and consumption in real-world conditions is likely to be significantly higher.